Aloha Korokai Porters and future Korokai Porters. Just uh, gonna do a review here on the newest kite Core's release, the Nexus 2. And as we know with Core, they always release a new kite when they modify it, update it, and make it even better. So the beauty is they don't really change the kite, they just make it slightly better. So just gonna show you guys what they've updated and what they've kept the same. We're looking here at a Nexus 8 meter. Okay, as you can see, it's a wave, a freestyle, and a free ride kite. Still built with the beautiful Exotex Ultra Rigid Dacron. They added a little bit of color, a little bit of yellow. Okay, you can see the beautiful build of these German kites. Beautiful leading edge. And we still have the fast inflate, deflate. Guys, I don't know how this works. New core, soon to be core riders. This guy goes and releases there. They've also kept these between the strut and the leading edge. These inflate tubes nice and short, so it makes for a quick deflation. They're not getting pinched when you're deflating the kite. And it comes with your pocket out clip so you can isolate the strut. Hey, this is kind of a hybrid sea kite slash fly kite where they kind of have the ability to change angle of attack. Um, what they have changed on this, number one thing I want to show you guys is the material used for the struts. So what they used to do is use the, the, uh, good Lord, what they call it? Exotex, Ultra Rigid Dacron for the leading edge and also for the struts. So in, in order to save some weight this time and to improve some other features, they went ahead and used the Ultra Light um, Exotech on the struts, which saved them about 10% in weight for the struts. Okay, so what I was able to do is they took that and they went ahead and put in some what they call radical reaction wing tips and they're, that's going to help the kite in the waves and also its agility to drift. And uh, in the weight saving, what that has been able to do is they took that and they kind of widened the wing tip. So that's going to give the kite a little better relaunch, especially in lighter winds. Hence, this kite would be kind of like a good all around kite, especially for your foilers, if you're not going for the X-Lite, which is a, a foil specific kite. Okay, come on here on the right side of the kite. Kind of see how she looks. Okay, Put a little yellow tag right there. Got some hope for color with core. Actually, I like, I, I, I like the white and black. I think it looks super awesome. A little yellow that looks kind of kind of cool. I get excited when I see a little color. Anyways, um, all right. So this kite is built off of the uh, Coors um, section and Coors GTS. It's kind of inspired by them. Some things are taken from those kites. Those who ride GTS know how I want. To, I don't want to use the word volatile, but I kind of think it's a very volatile kite. It's extremely explosive, excited, loops like mad fast. Uh, that's why I backed down to the Nexus was a little more of a gentle kite that loops in his radical as well, but not as, I don't have to be in the driver's seat constantly with, you know, my eyes wide open and constantly, consciously flying this kite where the Nexus, you kind of take a step back, park it if you want to, and it's super chill on the um, bar pressure, um, especially when you compare it to the XR6. Um, speaking of the XR6 and the Nexus, these are kind of like our two all Orion kites that you can do wave riding in, and um, pack up, go travel, and you'll be you're gonna have a good time. I personally prefer the Nexus for high wind. Once it starts blowing 30 knots plus, I'll take the Nexus out, just because I feel like it has a little more stability in those high winds, and it's not gonna have as more much bar pressure trying to rip me off the water until I bring that kite to 12 and pop. Then it's really gonna explode on me. Um, when it gets underneath that, then I of course pull out the the XR6s. You know, getting in your 40s, you uh, you uh, go for the you know the floatier kites, the soft landings, and try to keep the knees from buckling, right? All right. So the things, like I said, that they changed. I want to show this as well here. Our CIT. You have one for freestyle, one for all around, one for wave. These knots right here are super easy to change. This is just kind of like a lark's head. Same knot that you use when you attach your lines to your kite. And you can change it more for a freestyle approach if you're going to loop right over here. If you're going more in a wave, it's going to slightly change the profile of a kite, making it from a higher profile to a less 
less uh, of a uh, smaller profile. Okay, meaning less. Uh, forget my words, man. That's what happens when you get in your mid 40s, almost. Uh, all right. Uh, trying to think if there's anything else I want to share on this kite. Personally, uh, my take on this kite, I got nothing bad to say. Of course, I'm going to be biased as well because I love core. Uh, I'm, I'm totally stoked. I still love my Nexus One, probably equally as much. Uh, they did an excellent job on both these kites. I do notice what I have noticed on this kite, especially with the new Sensor 3 bars, is this kite feels a little, even less, a little bit less bar pressure. It's got, a, it's a little softer even, and it depends on your riding if you like to have more or less. But um, she's fast. She's stable. She's agile. She jumps really well. So if you're looking to jump, you're looking to foil, you're looking to all sports, it's gonna it's going to uh, serve you super well. You're not going to be disappointed. Cool. Um, I think that's it. She's a wicked kite. And uh, if you have any questions, just uh, uh, leave a comment on the bottom of the YouTube video and I'll get to you.